Hello guys, welcome back. This is Free Transfer Madness Part 3. Uh, before I get started with this one, just to let you guys know that title domination is coming back soon. Very, very soon. I'm just kind of confused as to where I am in the league and what pitches I have got. So I'll probably have to do a first season update with Zaragoza to show you guys how we're doing. I mean, I think I've done one before. I have to really look through it all. But yep, this is Free Transfer Madness Part 3. Two new guys to show you here. Uh, one will be familiar as usual and the other one maybe one you've signed before but just really don't know much about him and I'm just gonna tell you basically how good he actually is. We're gonna go straight into it. It is the one on the left here, not the one with the funny face. His name is Carlos Diogo. As you can see there, twenty seven years old, Uruguayan there right back and he plays midfield too. Uh he got quite good stats I think considering I didn't really know who he was and I never really heard of him uh he has been at Real Madrid before, so I thought I'd heard, like, well, maybe not know much about him, but heard of, of the name, but not really, so it was a bit of a shock, considering I just found out he was he had played for Real Madrid, but um, good tackling, as you can see, good pace, good stamina, aggression isn't that good, I mean, he does get sent off quite a bit when I use him, but he's good, I mean, he fits into the Premiership team really easily. I've used him for Celtic before and he was just outstanding and he's absolutely destroys that league. Um I'm guessing he'd probably be best suited to the championship well the like championship promotion contenders that wanna go up because I mean he is good for a f like a few seasons until he's about thirty he starts declining. But he'll still be really, really good to just have it as your right back until you find a like a youth substitute. Um he is kind of a guy that will, he's quite versatile, I mean, I, I played him right mid before, he's not the best right mid, but if you need a player there, he will play there and just get the job done. Um, but yeah, he's, I think average rating is usually around 6.7 or something, so I think that's what it usually is for me. Um, he doesn't really get that high form, to be honest with you. It's kind of varied I think it depends what kind of team you use him in what kind of formation other players around him but he is a really really good player I would suggest him uh, we would want the positions now as you can see he's a natural right back and a competent right wing back competent right mid I mean he can play at the other sides as you can see there by the oranges but I really wouldn't bother because he's not exactly suited to play there so I'd, I'd, I'd just keep it right back right mid because I think that's just the best he, he, I've played him left back before just because I had to and I, I really ran out of players and I had to sell some players and um, he was okay but he needs you need like the people that play in them positions as they know their what they can do the best Um, but yeah that's Carlos Diogo he doesn't he, he, he is quite an expensive guy to get Uh, he's probably only really championship contender if like, it's worth it but if you don't need a right back, I wouldn't sign him. But if you are desperate for a right back, he's a really, really good option, especially the first season. Uh, that is Carlos Diogo, Uruguayan, free transfer. Remember, this is only the English database active. I don't know if you can get him on any of the databases, but yeah, this is Carlos Diogo. If you recognise that man, as I hope you do, you will realise that it is Sol Campbell. Uh, looking very intelligent there. As you can see, I don't know what he's looking at. It looks like he's in an interview. But yeah, Sol Campbell. What do you want to say about this guy? Not a lot. Straight in his stats. 36 years old. He is very, very old. I mean, I think it's about a season you'll get out of him. But he does have a bit of experience. I mean, I put him as captain usually. Leadership 19, decisions 18. He's a very, very, very good player. Uh, I know he is really old, but I kind of use him just to strengthen my defence like when I need it. Because the clubs I tend to get, I tend to like sell off the old ones and keep a lot of the youngsters. But having this guy kind of helps me out. I mean, he is really old. So if I'm selling off, I think you can get him quite cheap on wages. Which is good for his experience and just the way he plays the game. Um, He's a very, very good player. Still in his old age. But I mean... Realistically, if you, you he isn't a long term replacement for any of any any player, so this needs to be 
kind of, if you need to get a job done, get him. I mean, say if you need to get promoted in the first season, because that's what the board want, get him and he'll keep your defence solid. And, I mean, that's all you need to ask for at that age. I mean, there's not much you can do with him after the first season. So, this is more of an impact player, like a season impact player. Uh, positions, obviously, it's just centre-back. He's not very versatile at all. But, I mean, if you can do a job as centre-back, then there's no need to mess around. Uh, I think he is really cheap, considering, like, this thing. I think I got him for 15 before. I think it was 15, which isn't actually that bad, considering his experience and whatnot. But, yeah, that was Sol Campbell. Uh, that's it, to be honest with you. I mean... These two are very, very, very basic players. I mean, they are very, very good at what they do. But yeah, Sol Campbell, impact player. You need to get promoted. Get him. You keep your defence solid. Diogo is amazing, amazing right back. If you need a right back, sign him first season. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. Uh, standard procedure, guys. Comment if you've used them. Comment if you've, you're going to use them. Comment if you've just bought them and they're actually insane. Like I told you they are. I want to hear from you guys. Uh, this has been Free Transfer Madness Part 3. And hopefully be here again for me in a few days' time with title domination and then another Free Transfer Madness. Alright guys, see you later. Stay safe.